weather was beautiful and I don't think we could have asked for a better day for this or a better weekend for this but um, it was it was really good to get out here and have this meet and like I said and when I was talking to talking about this meet before it's just we're really excited to be able to actually have a home meet and get out here in front of our kids as family and friends and compete and whenever that happens good things good things always happen during the home meet it's a pretty special meet to have and the other teams that come always look around and they always say man you guys have the most beautiful place we've ever been to stood out by far for me was Kyle Morris's 70 meter jab throw ranking third all time that'll put him that'll put him high up in the west and that'll get him through to nationals as long as we can do it at first rounds but other than that, I know we had, I know we've had some good things happen across the board. And, you know, as far as what I've seen in the throws, it was a good solid weekend. But I've been talking to some of the other coaches, and I've heard some good things. But that, for me, the standout was definitely Kyle's 70. It was really nice. The kids, I think, really appreciated all being back together for once. Uh, we're going to split up again next weekend, but uh, that's kind of the nature of track and field, and st especially in a year like this where we kind of have to squeeze down on some things. But um, the kids really enjoyed it. They knew that it was time to come out and, and shine with, with, you know, with all their teammates cheering them on, including their families and stuff. So um, I, think, I think the fact that they actually had everybody around was, was a big deal for them. Uh, just that we're excited to move on with the rest of the season. I mean, it's been a great meet and we were excited to get this opportunity, but now it's time to kind of shift gears into the latter part of the season and get ready for the big meets to come.